Nectar Nebo II, a name synonymous with the last era of native Egyptian rule, occupied the throne during 360-343 BCE, marking the conclusion of the illustrious 30th dynasty. This period, punctuated by the reign of this notable pharaoh, was characterized by intricate cultural rejuvenation, architectural marvels and strategic defense measures, all of which exemplified Egypt's resistance against foreign dominance. The 30th dynasty was a fleeting but significant epoch in ancient Egyptian history. Having wrested power from the Nubians, the rulers of this dynasty were determined to restore Egypt to its former glory. Nectar Nebo II, as the last of these pharaohs, bore the weight of this responsibility and was pivotal in showcasing Egypt's cultural and military might. Architecture and arts flourished under Nectar Nebo II's patronage. His penchant for construction was evident in the temples, statues and monumental structures that sprouted across the landscape. Temples dedicated to Egyptian gods such as those at Mendes, Karga Oasis and Philae were meticulously crafted, reflecting the era's architectural zenith and the deep-seated spirituality that permeated society. The intricate carvings, hieroglyphs and motifs etched on these structures narrate tales of devotion, valour and the symbiotic relationship between the pharaohs and deities. But Nectar Nebo II's reign wasn't just about grandeur and aesthetics. It was also about fortifying Egypt against external threats. Persia, a formidable power, cast a long shadow over Egypt, prompting Nectar Nebo II to invest in bolstering military defences. Massive fortifications, walls and strategic garrisons were erected along the eastern delta to stave off Persian advances. This emphasis on defence did not merely represent a tactical move, but underscored the intent of a pharaoh keen on safeguarding his homeland's integrity and legacy. Economics and trade, too, received impetus during this period. Ensuring a stable economy was paramount. Nectar Nebo II undertook measures to streamline taxation, the rabbi bolstering the state's coffers. This financial stability, in turn, facilitated trade with neighbouring regions, ushering in prosperity. However, as with all great civilizations, change was inevitable. Despite Nectar Nebo II's efforts, Egypt eventually succumbed to Persian rule. Yet it was the indomitable spirit, the resilience and the cultural imprints of his reign that ensured Egypt's essence remained undiminished. Reflecting on Nectar Nebo II's era is more than an academic exercise. It's a journey into understanding our past. The lessons are manifold. The imperativeness of cultural preservation, the power of resilience against overwhelming odds, and the profound impact of visionary leadership. Delving into history is not merely about dates and events, it's about unraveling the tapestry of human endeavors, ambitions, failures, and triumphs. Embracing the past, especially an era as rich as Nectar Nebo II's, is a beacon for the present. As we stand on the shoulders of giants like him, we are reminded of the potential within us, shaped by the legacy of those who came before. Recognize it, cherish it, and let it guide your path forward. For in the annals of history, greatness is not just about ruling territories, but in influencing generations. Remember, understanding our past is the key to sculpting a future of purpose, vision, and enduring impact. Click like, subscribe, and share this channel.